Happy Memorial Day, everybody. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Lori. And well, Lori, and welcome to Lori Books Trial. I got me some stuff while I was out today. So I was going to show you what I got. First, I got these really cute pair of shoes. Look at these. Aren't they adorable? They were normally $80. And they were on sale for $29.99. Or $30, yeah, $40. $39.99. $40. So, they're adorable, aren't they? I love them. And then I got these really cute shorts for family reunion and for the summer as well. These were $12, normally $17.99, I believe. Something like that. And then I got a couple of books, of course. But I had these coupons, because I'm a member. So I had 20% um, off. I had two of them, so I got both of these books for, I think it was like $22.18 or $0.16. Cents. This one really looks good. This looks like uh, a little bit like, um, oh, what is that called? Um, I just... Ready Player One, and also, um, you know, the one with um, Amika, and, oh, it's one of my favorite um, books, I can't think of the name of it, but it's the one with Amika, and um, Miko, whatever you know, remember, um, and I can't think of what it's called, my mind went completely blank on what it's called, the book, oh, but it's the one where she hacks the game, I can't think of what it's called. Miko Chain or Mika Chain or however you say your last name, Chen. And why do I forget the guy's name? But you guys know what I'm talking about. Anyways, that's what this is kind of like. It's called Girl Gone Viral. I heard um, beautiful bookish Bethany talk about this, and I saw it today. So yeah, this book is usually seventeen ninety nine. It says um. For 17-year-old Oprah, Opal Hop, Hopper, code is magic. She builds entire worlds from scratch. Mars, crafters, shimmering lakes, any virtual experience her heart desires. But she can't code, but she can't code her dad back into her life. When he disappears after her 10th birthday, leaving only a cryptic note, Opal tries desperately to find him. And when he never turned up, Oprah enrolled at a boarding school for technical, technological, how do you say that word, protégés, and tries to forget. Until now, because Wave, the world's biggest virtual reality platform, has announced a contest where the winner gets to meet its billionaire founder, the same billionaire who worked closely with Oprah Dat. The one she always believed might know where he went. The one who maybe even murdered him. Da, da, dum. What begins as a small data hack to win the contest spirals out of control when Oprah goes viral, digging her deeper into a hole of lies, hacks, and manipulations. How far will Oprah go for the answer, or is it the attention she wanted for years? But isn't this cover, like, gorgeous? I love this cover. It says, Oprah will stop at nothing to uncover the mystery behind her father's disappearance. But when her VR world becomes her, her viral reality, decoding the truth is harder than she bargained for. So. It really looks good. So this is the first one I got. And it just looks like this. Nothing like fancy or anything, but I do love the color. And I like how this goes with the color, how it goes with the purple. I really like that. So it definitely looks good. This one has... Um, Oh, 400 pages or just short of 400? No, 402 pages. Yep, 402 pages this one has. 
And the other one I got looks really good. And since next month is um, Pride Month, this would be a good one to read. It's Amelia Westlake Was Never Here by Erin Nooch, Gonch, Gonch, how do you say it? It says, Operation Amelia Westlake. Stage one, spot injustice and do something about it. Stage two, enlist a something conspirator, co, co, co conspirator, even if she can't, even if you can't stand her. Stage three, pull off unforgettable pranks that get your, get your points across. Stage four, create an imaginary classmate to take the blame. Stage five, try not to fa fall for your partner in crime. <laughs> I love that. Doesn't that look neat? And look at the cover. Doesn't it look scream a summer read? Like that just screams a summer read. Look at this. Like. Look at this. It even has like a little um I'll show you. Like a little symbol of the of the the front on here. Very cute. This one has 352 pages. I'll read you what's about in a second. It's another purple. Look, this one has some cover, I mean, some art on it. Right there, it has some art on it. Isn't it beautiful? And then I'll tell you what it says exactly. What it's about exactly. This one says, she's a genius, she's a pro... Lockader? How do you say that word? She's a hero. Who is Amelia Westlake? It says Harriet Price is the perfect student. Smart, dutiful, overachieving. Will Everhart is a troublemaker who never met an injustice she didn't fight. When their swim coach inappropriate, inappropriate behavior is swept under the rug, the unlikely duo reluctantly teams up to expose his misdeeds, pull in pro provocative pranks, and create in the instant Instantly legendary Amelia Westlake, an imaginary student who helps right the many wrongs of their privileged institution. But as tension burns throughout their school and between Harriet and Will, how long can they keep their hoax a secret? How far will they go to make a difference? And when will they realize they've fallen for each other? Amelia Westlake, who is never here, is a fun Funny, smart, and all-too-timely story of girls fighting back against power and privilege and finding love when they're at it. Or while they're at it, I should say. Well, this these look like it would be fun for the summer to read. So, you guys know me. Since I got new books, my TBR will change a little bit. Because, no, I want to read both of these next month. But that was my haul. That's what I got. But yeah, this was all together, like I said, $22 and like 18 cents. It was either $22 and 16 or 18. So like, I got like this for like one, like a price of basically one book <laughs> and just like a couple of dollars for the other book. <laughs> so this one was $17.99 in the U.S. and this one was, I believe $17.99 as well. Yeah, $17.99 as well. So yeah. <laughs> Good deal. But I'm going to let you guys go because it is almost time for us to eat. I made some pasta salad and potato salad. And we and we picked up some Popeye's chicken and biscuits. And Rob is making corn in the steamer. Corn on the cob in the steamer. So we're going to pig, pig, pig. But I hope everybody has a great Memorial Day. And I will talk to you guys all later. Bye for now. Lori out.